hello friend welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're doing okay so today i have something very amazing and special to share with you so i've been getting comments from you guys asking me to show you how to mix your own cream so some people want to mix their cream because after buying your cream you end up not liking the texture on your skin so you really want something to mix in your cream to balance it so today i'm going to be showing you how to mix your cream to achieve a radiant glowing skin now this is one thing you need to understand you don't just mix any cream you have to be sure of the product before mixing it with any ingredient so make sure that is something you're very sure of before mixing it so yeah i'm going to be showing you one of the best products i've used before and how i mixed it and it was perfect for me so let's just go ahead and let me show you how to do this <laughs> So here is one of the best products that I used in the past and this product was wonderful for me. I used this for about um, 4 to 5 years if I'm not mistaken and honestly this product was everything then for me. So I used um, this product before I started making my own products and um, I loved everything about this product i used um the, the lotion for about um i think a year then i switched to this cup so i started using the cup and ended up loving it more than the lotion and here is how i started using the cup my sister actually got this cream for me she was coming to visit me in school then and had to get some things for me so she ended up buying this cup instead of the lotion so i had to use it because i had no option but i was still not comfortable because i know my skin type i know that i have a very sensitive skin so i'm always very careful of what i use on my skin and when i saw the double action written on it i became very much worried so i decided to just use the cream for about two weeks and if there is any reaction i'll just zero my mind and leave it so i started using it but i noticed um something after applying the cream on my skin i still see the cream on the surface of my skin like it doesn't penetrate into my skin as it should and i think the lotion is also like that but not as greasy as the cup after applying the lotion i think it takes a little time and it will just go inside but the cup after applying it i could still see it on my skin like you could still see the cream and when i use my nails to try and um, scrub it a little bit i would kind of get the cream on my nose so I wasn't really comfortable, but because I had a little idea on how to balance cream, so I tried it and it worked perfectly for me. Now let me show you how I mix it. This particular one comes with oil. So if you buy it, you're going to see the oil inside it. So it comes in a pack like this. You see the cream inside and the oil beside it. Just a small bottle yes and the lotion the lotion doesn't come with oil and this is very affordable this is very affordable and still very affordable in the market and another good thing about this cream during the time i used um, this cream i never encountered um the fake not even for once so i don't really think it's really that common like to get the fake in the market but you still have to be a little careful. So what I'm doing here, I measured um, three tablespoons of this um, snail white cream. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of the oil, the snail white oil. And after that, I'll just go ahead and mix it well. And just in case you want to try the lotion and you still want to add this um, snail white oil, I think they sell only the oil also, but I think it comes in a bigger bottle. So you can just go to any supermarket and get a snail white oil and mix a little bit of it inside the lotion and you can also add the following ingredients that i'm going to be using here i think the reason they added the oil is because this cream is actually very thick it's very thick so adding the oil will help to loosen up the cream a little bit but i wasn't still comfortable with that so i still had to add my own ingredients so i prefer using this um, rosehip oil but you can also use sweet almond oil so i use um, rosehip oil because it contains lots of um, benefits it has um, vitamin a c and e which means it's very rich in three key vitamins 
and these three vitamins helps with acne prevention and reduction by increasing skin cell turnover and um, also rosehip oil is packed with beauty essentials like um, anti-inflammatory fatty acid and vitamin a and c like i said earlier it helps to hydrate skin and repair damaged um, skin and also provide a strong protective antioxidant boost it also moisturizes your skin it helps to exfoliate and brighten skin it helps to boost collagen formation it helps to reduce inflammation it helps to protect against um, sun damage it also helps to reduce hyperpigmentation and that makes it perfect for this but you can also use sweet almond oil and here i also have um, aloe vera gel and for this aloe vera gel i recommend the um, seaweed aloe vera gel or you can also use the one without fragrance so if you can find aloe vera gel without fragrance or seaweed aloe vera gel that will be perfect for this I love using um, aloe vera gel or adding it to my skincare product because it contains lots of um, benefits. It contains a lot of water that can help to hydrate your skin and um, particularly in the innermost layer of your skin, it can help to hydrate the skin and lock in moisture. So that makes it perfect for this. And um, the final ingredient to have vitamin E capsule. So you can either use the vitamin E serum or the vitamin E capsule, but I think this will be very very easy for you to find so just add one uh, capsule and go ahead and mix it well now this is a very powerful ingredient that I will always advise you to add in your product or you can also be taking this as a supplement it helps your skin it's very wonderful Vitamin E contains lots of um, benefits. It's a fat-soluble vitamin that acts as an antioxidant, helping protect cells from damage throughout your body. It also creates a natural barrier to keep moisture in your skin. It also stops skin from losing moisture. It um, softens your skin. It protects your skin from damage. It's a very wonderful ingredient. Now, after mixing this cream with all these ingredients, I will show you the difference between the original cream and the one we just um, mixed right now. Now, this is the original cream in the cup, and I'll take a little bit of it and apply it on my skin. Now, looking at my skin, can you see the consistency of this cream? Now, I'm trying to make this penetrate into my skin. And you can see how long it's taking to penetrate now you can see the consistency on my skin you can see how whitish is looking now take a look at the one we just uh, mixed right now can you see how it's going on my skin you can feel the smoothness you can see how lush it is on my skin now you can see how hydrating it looks on my skin now the original one the consistency is too thick it doesn't really go well into your skin it's just on the surface of your skin and this can make you sweat and after rubbing it well you can see how whitish it is still looking on my skin I've seen a lot of people adding different kinds of um, chemical whenever they are mixing their cream they can just go to the market and get any product then go ahead to adding um, chemicals trying to create whatever I don't know so it's very bad because it will end up damaging your skin. Most of them, if you see their skin, you see this um, reddish, you see dark knuckles, you see wrinkles, you see all shades of uh, skin irritations on their skin. And still they are still using it, expecting to get a perfect result or expecting to get change on their skin. So this is the reason you need to know the right and best ingredients to use when mixing your cream. Please always make sure that you use the best ingredients. Always make sure you use something mild, something very natural, something very organic. Honestly, I really don't know how to explain this better for you to understand, but in all, I'm just trying to say that you should be careful of what you use on your skin. Be very careful of what you apply on your skin. Avoid chemical. It's very bad for your skin. So always make sure you use something good. Now you see, I still use my nails to scrub this. Now I can still see the cream on my hand. This is what I'm talking about. Now go ahead and try the same thing on the other side where I applied the cream that we just uh, mixed now. Now can you see? There's nothing there because it has already penetrated into my skin 
so this cream is very wonderful i don't know maybe depending on my skin i think someone else can also use it without mixing it and it will come out perfectly okay for them depending on the skin and also depending on the weather but for me it just um rests on my skin if i don't um mix it with all this um ingredient this is just something I love doing. Even when I'm making my own uh, products, I always make sure to add those ingredients that contain high amount of water so as to make sure that the consistency balances with my skin. So it has always been my kind of thing. So you can also use it and you will love the consistency on your skin. But the major thing I know is that this cream is a very wonderful cream it's very very suitable for all skin type it's very mild i love the fragrance it's very very mild i love the cream so if you have a sensitive skin like me and um also you don't have much time to make your own products and you have been finding it very difficult to get a suitable product for yourself you don't want something that will bleach your skin i will actually recommend this particular product snail white cream is very perfect for skin is very soothing it enhances your complexion to give you this even skin tone without discoloration because it doesn't bleach it's a very wonderful cream and also very affordable so all you just need to do is to get the cream you can also find the soap and the facial cream it's a very wonderful cream so for those of you that want to give it a try and you want to mix it just like I did here, just follow the measurements that I use here for a start. So if you use it and it's good for you, you can continue with it. And if you don't like it, you can just quit. Okay, so you can either start with a lotion or you can just get a cup and mix it just as I did here. It's very wonderful. So friend... That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're just joining me for the first time, my name is Gifty. And I'm super excited to welcome you to the Giftings family. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also turn on your notification bell. So that you'll be the first to watch my next video. And to my wonderful and amazing gift teams. Thank you for always being here. God bless you. So guys, see you in my next video. But before then, stay blessed and keep loving one another. Bye.